Hello, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Cancer. Hello, Cancer. So, you and um, Leo were neck and neck. So, um, I think Leo beat you by just a smidge. Anyways, so the top three this month were Libra, Leo, Cancer. In that order. So, yeah. So, if you're new to my channel, hello. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. I do upload by the sign every month. I'm not an astrologist. I just upload by the signs. So, uh, what else? Um, yes, and I usually do the top three. So, the top three views will get to go first. So, that's why we're doing, that's why we did them in that order. Libra. Leo, Cancer. Excuse me. And then after that, I just do it at my discretion, whoever I want. Okay. And if you're a past subscriber, thank you for being here. Thank you for all your likes and your shares and your subscriptions. I love y'all. Thank you right now to all my Patreons before I forget. So, I love your support. Um, means the world to me. I have a new light, so my dad bought me a light and he bought me a microphone, so it's going to be nice and loud. Um, I'm worried a little bit about the background noise, but we've been okay with it. So my dad is one of the biggest supporters of my channel. He just buys me things for my channel all the time. I don't ever ask him to, he just does, you know, bless him. I love him so much. So I was really grateful for that and really surprised. <laughs> He just like called me up one day and was like, I bought you a light and a microphone. And I'm like, what? And he's like, it's coming in the mail. I'm like, okay. So it's pretty cool. All right. We're going to start out with eight cards for cancer, please. Ooh, cancer. You are letting go of some shit in the past. Very good. Eight cards for cancer, please. Cancer. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy with my bell. I forgot to do that one second. Okay, so we have six of swords. We have four of wands. So, whoa, right off the bat, we got marriage and commitment. Ace of pentacles. So, combining finances. Ooh, this just went from zero to 100, huh? star this is your wish fulfillment cancer wow oh shoot the card just flew out hold on oh my big face the empress okay we're gonna keep that as a side energy card remember side energy like a side hoe right <laughs> so if it ties in we'll use it if not we won't that's that's why i call them side energy all right Three more cards. Damn it, Cancer. Why y'all keep getting these side energy cards? Page of Swords. Two more cards. Oh my god. Okay, we're not taking any of those. Literally like six cards just flew out right now. Two more cards, please, for Cancer. Keep the energy lights, please. Don't need all these fucking cards flipping out. Cancer, y'all crazy right now. Okay, last card for Cancer. Whew, okay, what is going on? All right, so we have Six of Swords. We have some energy of moving on from the past. Lots of healing, lots of learning. This is good, right? Moving forward on that boat, I see some commitment wanting to come in, right? Ace of Pentacles, so the energy of something new, but you can see it's finances. So it feels like you and your partner combining finances, okay? To me, it seems like, look, taking that next leap of faith. There's that wedding, the wedding bells. If it's not a wedding, it's committing somehow to the next step in your relationship it's moving in together it's something along those lines a engagement something like that um and somehow combining your resources together you and your person 
All right, and we have the star, which is the card of hope. It's also the the card of wish fulfillment, um, a wish coming true. So this this is something that you've wanted for a long time, Cancer. Okay, but I see that when this offer comes in, for some reason, I feel like you're gonna put it on hold because we have this, which is the hanged man. So it's the energy of like you being like, whoa, 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 whoa you know, putting everything on pause. And I'm not quite sure yet why you're putting this on hold. But we have this card that came out right after the hangman. So it feels like maybe you're trying to balance some aspects of your life, okay? And you're utilizing the resources that you have at your disposal to try to figure things out. So... Honestly, it feels to me like maybe you're a little bit nervous about about this whole um, committing to the this you know to the next step in the relationship. Maybe you're worried about combining finances. I don't know whatever the reasons are, but you have to remember. Okay, the card that came out next is the magician. So, like I said, you did manifest this person. So. Um, I want to say that you know what you want, except, you know, the card that came out next is this card, which is the Nine of Swords. So it's nightmares, it's imagined fears, and I say imagined because they're not real. So you're in this energy of like imagining these worst case scenarios in your head cancer and you know, this person wants to commit to you and yet you're like hesitating, you're on the fence. I mean, this showed it, <laughs> you know, everything, trying to balance everything out and it feels just a little bit like you might not be ready, okay? But both of you are in a good space. Like the Empress shows like, um, you know, it's fertility, it's earth energy, it's, it's, um, stability and it's everything sort of coming together right because you know we have this card the card of stability the four the four wands which is committing to something committing to a relationship committing to yourself and the empress is about stability and committing to you know self-love so everything's falling into place i don't want, understand why you're so nervous there could be something that's hidden from your partner that you haven't quite come out with yet. There's this, the page of swords energy is like this energy of like holding the sword of truth. Maybe something needs to be said that you haven't, I don't know. It feels like you're nervous about something that you want to tell your partner. So just be honest with your partner. If you're nervous about commitment, let them know, you know, I don't know. Feel like you should just, you know, speak your truth. All right, it's 818 on my camera. We are going to do your spirit message cards from my spirit deck. And this is just a little deck that I made myself. So I have my Rider Waits. I have this deck that I made myself. It's just a Mail Monroe deck and I put spirit messages on it. And then I have my Who Oracle. Um, if you didn't see my deck review, you should watch it. I bought a new deck. And I also bought another deck um, by Bodhi Tarot. See? And we're going to use that and the Romance Angels. So let's just keep right on plowing through. All right, Cancer. Can we get four cards for Cancer, please? I hope that shuffling is not too loud on this camera. Okay, so we have charismatic. So your person or you are very charismatic, Cancer. Take it how it resonates. Ooh, Sagittarius. Are you dealing with the Sagittarius? Fire sign? Or your person has Sagittarius in their chart somewhere? Awakened. So we have Charismatic, Sagittarius, and we have Awakened. So your person is awakened, or you are. 
generally I take it as that's your person though. So they are an awakened individual. They are not to sleep. And we have seduction. Ooh wee. Who couldn't use a little bit of seduction in their life right now? Cancer, cancer. Yeah, ready for some nooky nook nook, huh? We're going to throw some Bodhi Tarot on this. Whatever it is that you're nervous about, Cancer, don't be nervous about it. Okay, we're reading now for Cancer. Seems to me like you have nothing to worry about. These cards are really hard to shuffle. Ah! I love them. They're so cute. They're shaped like a heart, but they're so hard to shuffle. Okay, it says resentment or anger is blocking your heart chakra. Forgive and let these feelings go. Listen to 528 hertz. Oh, God. Hold on. See? What else do we got for cancer, please? Cancer signs, the beautiful water signs, cancer. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Make sure to fill your own before filling others. So this is where all this nervous energy is coming from, cancer. If there are some things that you need to forgive yourself for or to forgive your person for or just to forgive in general um, past pain, you need to heal that so you can move forward with this wonderful person that wants to commit to you. And you have to worry about filling your own cup. Don't worry about your person right now. Worry about taking care of yourself because you cannot help others when your cup is empty. New connections and new relationships that are more aligned to you are entering your life. So for some of you, um, this person that wants to commit to you is not the one. And... You know, as soon as you let that go, another one will come in more and better aligned for you. Maybe that's what needs to be said. Maybe that's why you're nervous. Maybe that's why it's keeping you up at night. Maybe this person wants to commit to you and you don't want to commit to them. I don't know. I mean, take it out it resonates. It could, you know, it could be one. It could be one of many things going on. Either way, there's something keeping you up at night. So whatever it is, it needs to be said, okay? It needs to be addressed. All right. Can we get three cards from the Romance Angels for Cancer, please? Three cards. These cards are getting really hard to shuffle. I have no idea why. I feel like they used to be so easy to shuffle, and now they're just, like, sticking. Ooh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. See, something is not sitting right in this relationship that you're in right now. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So for some of you, you're in a relationship. It doesn't feel right. There's red flags. They want to commit to you. You don't want to commit to them. That's what it feels like. But as soon as you let go of someone, then you're going to be calling in your soulmate. So for some of you, the energy is if you do want to commit to this person, then commit to them. Um, but see, we got to make the effort. You're going to have to make the effort. You're going to have to put the energy in. You're going to have to stop with the anxiety and all of these things. You're going to have to do the healing work. Um, because it does say, look, calling in. So the first card we got was pay attention to the red flags. We have calling in your soulmates. And then we have make the effort. So it says great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So for those of you that do want, want this commitment with the person, you know, take care of whatever you need to take care of, you know, fix, tie up those loose ends or whatever so that you can stop with the anxiety and the not being able to sleep at night and all of that stuff, right? So that you can move forward with this person. God, I hope you cannot hear all of that in the camera. Okay, so the last deck we're going to do is the Who Oracle. So for some of you, if you, you know, 
for you singles or even for those of you that are, you know, in a relationship or whatever. It's going to give you confirmation that the person that you're dealing with right now is your person. So it'll give you physical characteristic traits. So spirit, <clears throat> four cards for cancer. Oh. Four cards for cancer. What do we got for cancer? Character traits. Whoops. These cards are out of control. Four cards for cancer, please. We have, this card is coming out for every single reading, every single sign. It is ridiculous. <clears throat> we have a full body. We have performing arts, and I'll show you the cards in just a minute. I don't know why the energy has been so crappy for all these readings, but I cannot shuffle these cards. All of the cards are sticking together. The energy is so sticky today. With every sign I've done, it's weird. Okay, and then we have social butterfly. So your person likes to chitter chatter. It's very social. And body art. So tattoos. Okay, so cancer. We have full body. Curvy. We have performing arts. So they're a performer. Social butterfly. Chatty Kathy, anybody? And then we have body art, which is tattoos. So <clears throat> take that how it resonates. It looks like she has a piercing too. If you look at this, there's piercings there. Nose pierce. So there you go, Cancer. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. We're going to conclude it. If you want to purchase a reading from me, then click on the little arrow in my description box will pop up all of my prices. My Lemurian Love Deck is on sale in my Etsy shop for half off. It's normally $50 it's on sale for $25. So if you like mermaids and you like love, and obviously you do because you're here, um, it's on sale. Please check out my little guy's channel. Um, he just uploaded a new video and he's working really hard to create really great content for you guys. Uh, what else? Thank you for um, all of your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, guys. Thank you to all my Patreons. I love you all so much. If you guys want to tip me, you know this is my only job and I appreciate it. I appreciate your support. That's why I appreciate my Patreons so much as well because you guys are so amazing. Um, but yes, thank you for all of you so far that have already tipped me and you know, help me to grow my channel and help me to support my life. <laughs> All right. I love you guys so very much. Thank you, Cancer. Also, um, Patreons, I will be uploading again sexual energy reads for April. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed them so much. All right. Bye.